next it's on to the main, more authentic Mexican fare, turkey mole poblano. Good luck pronouncing that one. Mole poblino. Nope. Mole, mole pobli, pobli, pobloni. No. So I was looking for Mexican mains, uh, other than your fajitas, enchiladas. Thought I'd try saying a bit different. Mole poblano basically means a mixed brown sauce that uses lots of ingredients at the chef's discretion. Adam starts by weighing out sesame seeds, almonds, raisins and dark chocolate. It's not usual to have uh, chocolate in a main course. I have heard of chilli and chocolate, though. That's a combination that's meant to go quite well. It depends how much you use. I've not really cooked with these chilies before, so, so I don't know how hot they're going to be. Well, pretty hot if you use all eight of them. Once fried, he leaves the chilies to soak before frying bread. The deeper I get into this, the less I know what I'm doing. Oh, Adam. To the fried bread, he adds chilli powder, the sesame seeds, raisins and almonds, and mixes, sort of. It's definitely looking interesting. It certainly is. In goes black pepper and a cinnamon stick. Looks like a cigar. <laughs> I'd lay off smoking it. And the ingredients don't stop there. Next, it's garlic, onion and a banana. It's a little bit strange that I'm putting banana in with onion. No one is forcing you to. It's just, it's a little bit off the beaten track, isn't it? And that, I guess that's what I'm trying to go for. He then puts the whole lot in a blender with chicken stock and whizzes. Looks, um, well, interesting. How does it taste? That is going to kick people's face in. In a good way? It certainly looks, um, well, never mind. He'll reheat and serve the sauce with turkey and rice later. Back in the world of the kitchen, it's on to the main. Adam starts by reheating that lovely looking sauce before moving on to his side dish. Hello, another packet. So here we've got Mexican style rice and here we've got a microwave. Uh, two minutes, job done. Keep it simple. Yeah, don't strain yourself. Rice done, he plates up his turkey before drizzling on that sauce. One final taste test. Mmm, that bad, eh? I'm not a dark chocolate fan. Fingers crossed your guests will be. Wish me luck. <laughs> Buena suerte! It's Adam's version of turkey mole poblano. What's this? What's this? What's in the sauce? Well, quite a lot of things. <laughs> So, in the sauce, there's chocolate in there, there is chilies in there, there's almonds... And the rest. Do you know what? There's banana in there, there's onion in there. There's the kitchen sink in there. What do you guys think? <laughs> Nicole, I can see you're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts, Nicole? <laughs> we'll come back to you. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> the sauce for me was too spicy. Listen, the main course, it weren't good. I know it had a plethora of ingredients in it. He did say he'd never done it before, and my little piece of advice to him is probably don't do it again. So you tell me a bit more about the rice itself, then? Oh, it's going from bad to worse. So... <laughs> the rice <laughs> was packet-bought. <laughs> oh, OK. And microwaved. <laughs> really? Is it one of those two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> hey. We'll give you a bit longer. <laughs> the rice. Well, what did we give him the rice? Slightly disappointing. Um, two minutes in the microwave. He's going to get a mark down for that, unfortunately. I don't think it was enjoyable for anyone. Um, but A for effort, right? No chance. Let's say, is a U a grade? <laughs> and a grade. <laughs> With the food a fail, Chris has a revelation. Well, I got told the other day on a, on a training exercise, one of the guys, he goes, do you know what? I really think you sound and look like Nick Knowles. Yeah. So I don't know how to take that as a compliment. Nick Knowles in a wig. I see it now. Yeah. I see it now. Oh, yeah. I see it too. I don't actually know who Nick Knowles is, but that's fine. What? You've never cried over television watching people's houses being rebuilt because they're in need? I'm welling up just thinking about it. Who is Nick Knowles? No idea. I was into musical theatre, so... There you go, Chris. You could do DIY SOS the musical. I, I just think that Izzy doesn't watch those sorts of TV programmes. You know, you know, she's probably watching Downton Abbey. I think I might 
get her a Nick Knowles DVD or something. When you first met me, did you think I was posh then? When I first met you? Yeah. I mean, I still think it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what do, you, what do you perceive as posh? I don't know, the way you carry yourself, the way you conduct yourself. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm concerned that people's perception of me is that I come across with a plumber in my mouth. I don't think I'm posh, I just think I speak properly. If you're looking for a posh person in the crew, I think she's probably the one, yeah, rang so. Everyone perceives me as being posh. Right. But, actually, I think you're the ugly duckling and we're going to see a different side to you. You think Mark's going to magically transform into someone posh? Young lady, I assure you, I did not go to Cheltenham Ladies Finishing School. I was born with nothing and I've got most of it left. Well, that's a bit awkward. Come on, Adam, time to lighten the mood. OK, guys, you've all finished eating. If you could uh, just join me, I've got a surprise for us all. Oh, lovely! We're going to have a bit of fun now. We're going to have a Mexican standoff. It's going to be one on one, and the winner gets to go on the piñata and gets to keep the prize. Ah. Poor thing. Whoa. To kick us off, our budding rivals. Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> I thought the Mexican gunfight, thankfully, it was water because bullets should not be used, um, you know, in competitions like this when you've got more days to go. Luckily, I was wearing trousers tonight, not a dress. Um, but yeah, no, it was really good fun. Fire! <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Love that. I can't remember the last time I picked up a water pistol. So, we've got a winner. Well done, Nicole. Woo! You know, actually, that's probably the best part of the night so far. It is. The water pistol fight was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, obviously, nothing can change the main course. <laughs>